living testimony tulindi dokulira mama nalongo amen I thank God for this opportunity. I thank God. Who am I? I thank God for my mom. I'm grateful, Pastor Jessica. Thank you that you've made me what that I can speak to the children of God. I thank God for his grace that has brought me this far. Pastor Jessica, I have a testimony. I gave my life when I was a young girl. And I grew up in salvation. I remember those days I used to sleep in victory in Deba. And they could call me an intercessor. But then I wasn't an intercessor. I had no home to stay in. So I behaved to be a church intercessor. I love to thank God. 1993 and God told me that Kemirembe are blessed with a husband in that victory our pastor had just started that impact radio and things were not yet stable and they could give us free programs and they gave us, gave us a youth program God told me in 93 that he has given me a husband and I went on the airwaves of impact radio and I declared that God has given me a husband I had to touch into the Vaseline so that I look brown here in face. Because when God speaks, He never lies. I was preparing myself to be a bride. I never knew that it had to take me patience. From 93, I could add the Vaseline to be brown. 2004, 2005, 2006, and men began to approach me. And God could tell me that is not the perfect one. When we entered 1998, and I got a man. He was a headmaster from Kabula Soke School. In 93, when God told me that he had given me a husband, I got a vision that was plain. We used to go preach the gospel in the villages. In the vision, I saw Pastor Saradwa come to pick me where in Mitiana. And I came. And he told me, Kemile, I've come to receive you. And he wanted me to sit in front of his car. And me, I, did, I wanted to sit behind. And I pulled the handle of the door so that I opened for myself. And he told me, as the car was closed and he spoke to me in the car, why do you want to open yourself yet? I want, I ought to open for you. I never put it at heart. I went in front and pulled the front door. And he pushed the mirror down and told me, I won't open for you until you've let go. And I never put it at heart. I pulled the door in my strength until I broke off the handle that opens the door. And then I understood that now I failed to open the door and he removed the lock. And I pulled a little bit and it opened. 
I entered but I entered with a short man he was too dark and he had even that colored black with blue blue <laughs> 